What's up everybody? It's Brian with Next Projection and ProjectorScreen.com here today with another video in our 4K Ultra Short Throw Projector <laughs> Shootout Series. We're going to be taking different UST projectors and pitting them head to head against each other. We will be playing the same delicious looking content through both projectors with each unit set to the most comparable picture mode. Please keep in mind that what you're seeing in this video is a number of steps away from the in-person experience. So take into account that one, we're projection experts, not videographers. Two, we're projecting a 4K HDR source. Three, we're filming the reflection off of the screen with a 4K camera that does not record in HDR. Four, we're compressing the video and uploading it to YouTube. And five, you may or may not be watching this on a 4K display. If you want to get further into the visual nuances of each projector, check out the links in the description below. All of this is going to take place here in our well-lit showroom up against this 100-inch diagonal Grandview Dynamic UST Ambient Light Rejecting Projector Screen. This shootout video today will be pitting the VAVA UST single laser projector up against the Hisense 100L5F single laser projector. What we've got here is a new player to the projection game, brand called VAVA, with one of the least expensive entry level 4K UST projectors. Hisense, on the other hand, was one of the first players to the game with UST laser projectors, and this is their latest offering. This unit comes bundled with a 100 inch projector screen, while this unit can have a variable image size up to 130 inches. We know which one we like best, but we want to hear what you think. So please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Also make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel for notifications of all of our new upcoming videos. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at projectorscreen.com. So, with no further ado, in this corner, weighing in at 2,500 lumens, we have the VAVA UST. And in this corner, weighing in at 2,700 lumens, we have the Hisense 100 L5F. Projectors, to your corners. Y'all ready to do it? Let's go. Now Hisense also recently released the 120L5F, which is the same unit except with a fixed focus set at 120 inches. You can apply anything seen or heard about the 100L5F to the 120L5F as well. In this scene, you can really see the clarity advantage of the Hisense over the VAVA unit. It is a super sharp image and is indicative that we may have a higher quality lens on the Hisense than that on the VAVA. There is a bit of a blue push on the Hisense, but that can easily be fixed with some simple calibration. VAVA is clearly showing us a brighter, more vibrantly colored lobster compared to the Hisense. However, there is a higher level of detail visible on the lobster shown on the Hisense. Here, we can see the superior motion handling of the Hisense in comparison to the VAVA. That fast motion of the boiling bubbles just looks much smoother on the Hisense unit, where it's a little bit more blurry on the VAVA. Now, right out of the box, the VAVA is absolutely a more accurate color, but it looks kind of cartoonish due to the exaggerated vibrancy. The skin tones look really good on both, but in this scene, I have to give the edge to the Hisense. Greens on both of these projectors look incredibly vibrant and accurate. Colors on the VAVA in standard mode just appear to be significantly brighter, but that extra vibrancy comes at a trade-off because we're losing some of the details of the image. We've seen a bit more banding from the Hisense unit in comparison to the VAVA, and this scene really kind of demonstrates it in the shadow of the bottle of wine. Now for all you vegetarians, I'm sorry to pause the video here on this juicy steak, but I really want to point out the sharpness of the high sense, which really allows you to see the detail in the grain of the meat. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba 
In this scene, you can really see the superiority of the Hisense's video processor. The edges of the flowers just look so crisp, so sharp and so clear. And when you look at the edges of the claw on the flowers, they look almost blurry on the Vava. Hisense's image sharpness is on full display in this scene. With the caviar on the Hisense, you're able to see the detail of the individual pieces, whereas on the Vava, it kind of blends a little bit more together. One thing to also keep in mind is that the way that we've cropped this video, you're not able to see the edges of the screens. If you were, you would notice that the edges of the Vava look a touch out of focus in comparison to the Hisense. This may be a limitation of the lens on the Vava, or it could be related to the image processing. Oddly, in regards to the color accuracy, where the Vava seemed to be superior before with the out-of-the-box settings, it just looks almost oversaturated with the honey being poured on the dessert. Both projectors do a pretty good job with this scene, but with all of that extra color vibrancy that we're seeing in the Vava, we're actually losing some of the detail that's really more clearly visible on the Hisense unit. These are two of our more entry-level ultra short throw projectors. Now, both units are excellent, especially considering the price point. So let's take a look at the stats. The Hisense clocks in with a higher maximum brightness of 2700 lumens, which is moderately better than the Vava's 2500 lumens. In regards to throw ratio, the Hisense again edges out the Vava with a 0.22 to 1 ratio compared to a 0.23 to 1 ratio. That means the Hisense unit can sit slightly closer to the projector screen than the Vava. When it comes to the chipset, this is a dead even tie. Both projectors are using the 0.47 DLP chip and both are using a blue phosphor laser with a color wheel. In regards to color, the Hisense again wins. It has a wider color gamut covering 95% of the DCI-P3 spectrum, while the Vava unit only covers 90%. Not a huge difference, but still, the edge goes to the high sense. Even though we measured significantly better sequential contrast in the Vava, it doesn't really appear to manifest itself in our testing. The contrast on the high sense looks significantly better. This is especially true if you were to watch a dark scene that's sub 2% ADL. When it comes to the built-in audio, the Vava clearly has the advantage with two 30-watt speakers compared to the two 15-watt speakers on the Hisense. When it comes to price, it's hard to pick a clear winner. With the 100-inch screen bundle, the Hisense provides a better value for the dollar than the Vava pairing it with a separate screen. However, the cost of the Hisense 120 L5F is significantly higher than the 100 inch, and the edge goes to the Vava because you can save a good chunk of change by pairing that projector with your own screen. One of the main advantages of the Vava over the Hisense is that it is a variable focus projector. The Vava claims it can do up to 150 inch image. However, in our testing, we started to see some softness of the focusing beyond 130 inches. That being said, the Hisense 100 L5F is still only limited to the 100 inch size, while the Hisense 120 L5F is limited to only 120 inches. The variable focus of the Vava is absolutely an advantage. Both of these projectors are great choices, but one of them has the edge in this fight. So, if I have to choose a winner of this shootout, it's gonna be the Hisense. Assuming price isn't a consideration, and you specifically want either a 100-inch or 120-inch screen, well then the Hisense wins this showdown. Due to its brighter light output, better contrast, superior motion handling, and sharper image. That being said, if you want the flexibility of changing your image size or going beyond 120 inches, the Vava is the way to go. The Vava is all about the vibrancy of the colors, going so far as to often exaggerate them, which really makes the Vava great for cartoons, video games, and casual television viewing. However, for cinema, the Hisense is superior, thanks to its wider color gamut, sharper image, and better contrast. We wanna hear what you think, so please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Also make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel for notifications of all of our new upcoming videos. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at projectorscreen.com.